And while you're checking that out, hit subscribe if you're on YouTube, like, share, all those things that I will probably say again. Buy me a coffee. Link's in the description. Mm -hmm. Patreon.com forward slash hoop theory. Also, the Lakers suck. <laughs> yeah. I just think the in-season banner thing, it felt too grandiose for what it was in my heart. You're talking like the whole tournament overall or what? No, 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 no. Their banner drop ceremony. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think what I want it to be, you brought up a great point when we were texting. And if you want to make that point instead of me just regurgitating your point. But I just felt like it was this big giant deal for something that I don't view as the same importance as a national championship, national college brain. World. A world championship, like an NBA championship. Shout out Yeah. I just feel like it doesn't have the same level of chutzpah, like intensity. Yeah. And the banner was dropped and it's right next to the Lakers' other championships mm. that were like winning the entire everything. Yeah, I guess in the Lakers arena, they might not even have their conference and divisional banners up there. Like the Celtics, I guarantee, do not have conference or divisional banners up in the rafters. You know, they have them somewhere, but they're not hanging up because they don't have a room. The thought that I had is, you know how like some high school gyms will have like state champions basketball and then it'll have the years listed oh yeah mm -hmm. i think that would be a good compromise it's still there but it's not like you see this banner it's actually bigger than the banners that were for all the uh championships in minneapolis like the banner's bigger than the minneapolis oh yeah nba championships mm -hmm. those are respectfully way more important than being better in seven total games because you were good over like more than seven i don't know i just thought that like i'm not taking away that the lakers won it they did everyone else in the east got halliburton they won everybody else out in the west they young man Halliburton and Anthony Davis showed up like he cared for some reason. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I am not saying that is not what I'm trying to make with this point. Just the banner being as big as your total national ch is wild to me. Yeah. That's what I could not wrap my head around. I kind of like your idea of doing one banner and just adding the years as you accrue them. That's what I didn't want to type out in the text where I said, I'll just talk about it on the pod. I don't want to type this all out. Yeah. It was trying to explain that. I think that would be a good idea, but I do think that having a banner is kind of necessary when it's like this thing that they're trying to get the whole league and fan base to care about and so like if you're trying to hype it up as this thing everybody should care about and take seriously once it's done you should probably treat it like it's a big thing still you know and not just be like well you don't actually get a banner it's just the in-season tournament like it doesn't actually matter that much think about it like in tennis how there's the different opens one might be bigger than another one but you still get a trophy for both you know that type of thing i think it will just become this little mini playoffs which i kind of like it's like this early season playoff time period that's it's just kind of cool I, I like it i like the addition of it. It's clearly smaller than the main thing, but it's still a thing. Like, it still matters, you know? One thing that I do want to bring up, the Lakers organization originally was like, we're not gonna do a banner. That's crazy. And then the NBA allegedly was like, you're gonna put up a banner. <laughs> Sirs, oh. put one up there. Like, reportedly the NBA was pressuring the Lakers. Because the Lakers said that they wouldn't put one up. Hmm, just because they, I mean, that would make sense. They didn't say. It just early reports suggested that the Lakers would not raise a banner, but the NBA allegedly yeah. kind of pushed that agenda. Agenda. I think most teams probably would raise a banner. Like there's only a few teams in the league that wouldn't and the Lakers are one of them because they have yeah. 17 championship banners. It'd be Lakers, Celtics. Maybe Bulls and Warriors. Bulls. There's just a couple teams that just have like enough that were like, that kind of diminishes the value yeah. of the other ones. Although now, since it's been so long since the Bulls have won something, if they were to win an in-season tournament next season, let's say, like they probably would raise that, I'm guessing, you know. Yeah, the Celtics might too. No, I, the Celtics conference championships matter matter like those aren't yeah nothing. that's true those aren't nothing and there's like a lot of those yeah or like a decent amount yeah at least you're in the conference championship which is also a, a thing that matters yeah a lot more than the bulls have yes <laughs> that is true but like you were saying you were like that can't go up in the rafters with the championship banners and my thought was you know i've seen a lot of teams that have their conference and divisional championship banners up there so it's like at least in a similar ballpark to those no because it definitely should be like recognized as like a, it's not a nothing yeah and also if every team starts to take it seriously Seriously, it's going to be just as hard to win. I'm not trying to take the fact that they won it away at all. I think it's everybody just, I think, took it pretty seriously. Yeah. So yeah. no, this like there's no asterisks. It's no weird different thing. I'd like it to be eight games instead of four as the build up. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I mean they showed up and they played well every end season tournament game they had. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any off games. Mm -hmm. They won all four pretty decisively. And then in the playoffs they were just good. Mm -hmm. So they crushed the last two teams, the yeah. semifinals and the finals. But I think it's a good like turnout for the NBA that the very first end season tournament they got a all. 
all-time great like LeBron and the Lakers franchise as the first winners. No, it was the only thing that could have been better for them is that exact same outcome, mm -hmm. but it's Lakers, Lakers Celtics. Celtics. That's yeah. like the only thing they could have drawn up that would have been more like the NBA, Adam Silver just sitting there like, thank you. But depending on how good Tyrese Halliburton becomes, this would be a good story. If for it's like, the passing of the torch almost. Yeah, it's like where he came onto the scene, you know? Because I'm sure there's a lot more people in the world who know who Tyrese Halliburton is now after this in-season tournament that didn't know who he was Which before. I'm glad. He mm -hmm. doesn't bring just like weirdos like us joy. Yeah. He brings more people joy. Mm -hmm. Just watching him just do stuff. Yeah. Seeing his very unique, funky style of play. And now they finally have an award they can name after LeBron James. They can do the in-season tournament MVP. Mm -hmm.